President of the Commission, colleagues. I'm grateful to Mr. Barroso for reminding us that 2014 will be the 100th anniversary of 1914. I think it's worth thinking about these uh, dates. We are very lucky politicians in a very lucky part of the world. We're in charge of a wonderful project and this is something that needs to be said time and time again. What has been achieved is marvelous and we really ought to be asking why in the last few years we've been able to do so little to defend the European miracle. In particular in the last five years we've seen more and more EU citizens seeing the EU as a problem rather than as part of the solution. The previous speakers, Svoboda and Verhofstadt included, have said that the policy to deal with the crisis has not helped us come out of the crisis in many parts of the European Union. The, the anti-crisis policy has only generated uh, misery and gloom. We keep dwelling on public finances and we fail to deal with the financial risks inherent in the private banks. On the banking union I can only second Mr. Verhofstadt. We need to have the banking union otherwise we won't have dealt with the causes of the crisis. As a Green I'd like to mention a few things that haven't yet been mentioned. Unemployment. We heard about that and we heard about dealing with the recession but how do we want to do that? What kind of industrial and economic recovery do we want? President Barroso, it's appalling that over the past five years under your watch climate policy has been neglected we keep hearing about energy efficiency, resource efficiency, renewable energies as being the future, but this European Union, thanks to the European Commission, is now going over to new subsidies for nuclear and for coal. New technologies, efficient technologies, are now going to be disadvantaged, and that is not in the interest of the citizens whose trust you want to win. I also don't think it's acceptable that Mrs. Merkel tolerated by the Commission phones up Ireland and Portugal to say uh, that she's uh, standing up for a German industry and we'll make sure that BMW and Mercedes will pull out of uh, uh, other countries if they don't tow the German climate policy line. Why doesn't the European Commission, why doesn't anyone in the European Commission squeal about this? Farm reform is unfair and unecological. The trade agreement with the USA that you're now starting to negotiate. That's going to cost tens of thousands of uh, farming jobs across Europe. Is that what you really want, Mr. Barroso? Democracy? Well, it started in Italy. Press freedom, freedom of opinion. You and your colleagues accepted what happened there. Now in Romania, in Hungary, we can only cry over spilt milk. The fundamental rights of the EU are being ignored. 
and the idea of the whistleblower Edward Snowden being uh, holed up having to uh, seek asylum in Putin's Russia, what does that say about the state of the Union? As for uh, tobacco and the most powerful uh, lobby in the world postponing uh, that uh, vote Postponing that vote is a, a terrible uh, scourge on the good name of this parliament. On Syria, I am relieved that uh, diplomacy has now been given a chance. The refugee disaster that we are jointly responsible for, for months, for years, that has been exacerbated by Syria, that is a disgrace. You can make Europe better, Mr. Barroso. You could have made Europe better. You can win people's trust by pursuing different policy.